Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fate, the Unholy Trinity. So in the last episode we tried to save Lisa from being possessed by a demon in her apartment, but unfortunately we came too late, she was already possessed by the time we got to her, and then she died when we banished the demon away. I don't know if there was any way to save her anymore at that point, but I'm gonna assume that yes, there was a way to save her, I just didn't know how to do it. But oh well, what is done is done. She is dead, and we just have to live with it. And right now we are about to go to this daycare center where Nate and Jason most likely are, and if they are there, that's where the cultists will be as well. So, without further ado, let's go. And we also saw the police car go to that direction as well. Holy shit. There's so many policemen here. There's... I, I count seven. So... I'm uh, I'm gonna assume that they won't just let me in, a mere civilian, even if I am a priest. Well, there's no way to get there through the, through the front door. Let's see, can I... Hmm, can't get past that, or that. Almost everything is blocked. The only way that I can see is up here. Okay, we are getting somewhere. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's and there just happens to be a hole in the fence. Perfect. So this must be the kids' playground. Okay, what do we have here? A riddle priest. How do you make a a riddle priest? How do you make a portal to hell? Come see me, and I'll show you. Well, I guess we have to go and... The tunnels await. Actually, can I go... Can I go back real quick? Yes, I wanna see what's down here. Oh, it's just... We're just back here. Okay. Can I... Exorcist... Exorcist any of these? These colorful tubes? Nope. Okay. Okay, this, so this is a classroom, <coughs> excuse me, I can see the alphabet on the wall and some kids drawing. I think it says Ben, and I don't know, nine years old, red, a red star in the sky, and I assume that that is not the red star of communism. Oh, shit. Gary loves us, huh? Mother Moon watches her little ones behind a door of sleep. Daughter Chalice is filled, on offering to the master in the unseen world. Spirit bird arriveth from afar, and cometh back to roost. These vessels are the unholy trinity. And there we got the title of the game. The fallen star shall guide them. What colors can you see? Look to the children if you are lost. What colors can you see? Look to the children if you are lost. Colors, you mean these? Green, light blue, deep blue and pink. Anything else? On this wall? No. Can I? Yes, I can. Ah. I can switch the colors. Interesting. I don't know how that works. Okay, I think that the star is red, because in that one drawing we saw a red star. Well, let's leave them uh, like that for now. Oh, there's more drawings. I was wondering, wondering if there would be more. Okay, so the moon is orange. Ah, this is this was drawn by Mason. Oh wait, the kid. Oh, wait, the, the kids that we are looking for are Nate and Jason, not Mason. Uh, sun. Uh, rainy cloud and flowers. Uh, did we have any of those here? No. How about bird and or chalice? 
No birds or chalices here. Okay, so let's change this to orange. Like so. Oh hey, this is back to its original color. Well, whatever. We now know that the star is red and the mo uh, moon is orange. Welcome, children. My dream. I'm very concerned about your dream here, Kaylee. None of the things that we need are in this drawing. How about here? Tyler, age 7. Uncle Earl. Going fishing, I guess. And something is... Something is about to attack Earl's uh, boat. From, from deep in the water. Okay, but nothing that we need here. Oh, there's the chalice. It's pink slash purple. Our family. Why would you put drawings like this uh, on display like like this? Shouldn't you be worried if your kids draw something like this at a daycare center? Well, maybe it's the cultist who put this on. Who put this on the walls. I can also see that barely I can see the moon here. Okay, now this is this looks more normal. Hey, actually, now that I think about it, this must be a reference to one of New uh, Blood Interactive's other games. I just don't remember what, what it's called. But yeah, I, I recognize this one. I have seen this one before. And here... Sarah, four years old, is drawing some very concerning things here. What was the last thing that we needed? The bird, right? I don't see any birds here. What the hell is that noise? And what the fuck is that? Okay, there's the bird. It's blue. L. Nah, L. H4. That looked like a scarecrow. A bleeding scarecrow. Meet our shining stars. Oh, and now it's there. Maybe that's only a good thing. Thanks, Satan! Was this drawn by Jason, age 5? Ah, uh, no, Jason is older than that. I can't read that name. So, are those green things money? Red eye and beheaded people in front of it? That's lovely. Okay, so at least we know the colors now. The bird is deep blue. Chalice is pink slash purple. Moon is orange, and the what was the the star is red. All right, so you are deep blue. You are red. You are. Uh, pink. And you are orange. There we go. So now we get down to the basement. This is where it lives. What lives? Okay. Oh shit. Their eyes are glowing. I don't like this one bit. Oh, great. How do you have something like this underneath a daycare center? Unless the daycare center was built on something suspicious. What is this? Was someone sacrificed here? If you are reading this, then congratulations. You are on your way to experience the wonders of our unspeakable future under the guidance of Gary. Gary, our brother. Gary, our friend. Gary... A normal human being, just like you and me. I... I don't... I think he's anything but normal. <laughs> As a tier 1 acolyte, you are just beginning your unspeakable journey to eventually see what Gary sees, and prove yourself worthy to be a vessel fit to experience the second death, reserved for only the most worthy. To find out if you are a vessel, 
Remember to attend meetings of the Eternal Order of the Second Death twice a week. Follow Gary's instructions exactly. Be honest with him in all that you do. Do not ever ask what is behind the door in the basement of the clinic. Alright. Now those statues' eyes are glowing too. Wonderful. Ah, yeah, more notes. She consumed six little sticks. Only two were left to walk as husks. Go ahead, priest. Stare into the eyes of my mother. Oh boy. So that's your mother, huh? Kinda looks like Wednesday Adams. But older. Oh. This is not good. Ah, uh, dude, I think there's something wrong with your painting. Maybe the air here- maybe the air here is so bad that it's damaging the painting. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Oh, shit. And the painting just flies away. Alright, something tells me that we are about to have a fight in our hands. What do we have here? Case upon the magnificence of La Pieta Corrota. This beautiful statue depicts a faithful member of the order receiving the second death in the loving embrace of Et Mater. I assume that means mother. Two such statues were commissioned thanks to the generous patronage of the Safe Family. Safe Family. Oh yeah, there was the Safe Family tomb uh, in the cemetery back in the second chapter. We invite everyone to reverently approach the statue whenever they are in need of rest. Well, okay, so at least the game saved here. If you are reading this, congratulations, you have officially been granted tier 2 status in the Eternal Order of the Second Death. Oh yes, yay! Promotion. Upon crossing the threshold from tier 1 to tier 2, your life as an acolyte will change dramatically. You may start noticing shadowy figures in the corners of rooms, or experience feelings of lost time when holding sharp objects. Ancient symbols written in blood will materialize on the floor and walls of your home. Animals will no longer trust you. You may emit a foul odor that will cause your former loved ones to avoid you. These are just a few of the marvelous blessings that await you in, the, in this new stage of life. If you remain loyal to Gary, your journey towards becoming a vessel for the second death will progress to new levels of knowledge and power. Remember, if you neglect your weekly meetings or do not pay your tithes to the order, your fingers will be forcibly bent backwards. Ouch. Gary loves you. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Nothing else here? Okay, well, so we can save there, I take it. Oh, crap. Okay, what's on the other side? Shit. Antras app something. What is this, a giant chessboard? Andras. Uh, Soviet Discord, East and West Trade Places. Okay, this is a puzzle. Ordok, stir at his pot full of sinners, the seeds revolve. Well, he, he wasn't much of, a, much of a threat. Five seeds in the north facing west, five in the south facing east. Bale, give it favor. The low seeds are made high. Uh, okay. Can I even push these things? Uh, 
I don't think I can push this. There must be some other, some other way to... Well, I can see these cables. Okay. Okay, that must have changed the seats. Well, let's... Let's do this once to, ev to everyone. Oh, and these guys are back. There you are, you. There you are, you. Do these guys always come back whenever I leave the screen? Bell give it favor, the low seats are made high. I don't even know what that means. The low seats are made high. Five seats in the north facing west. How, uh, how north do you want the seats to be? Five in the south facing east. So north, west, south, east. Gotcha. So we have to get these. So we have to get these seats to either face uh, east, or we have to move them up somehow. I must have to do, do it like this with trial, trial and error. Luckily, the range of this crucifix is quite is quite high. These cultists are they are basically not a threat. Stir at his pot full of sinners. The seeds revolve. What do, what does it mean by revolving? Like going upside down, or just turning around? Uh, Soviet Discord, East and West Trade Places. Uh, okay, this is this is a bit complicated and not really not really caring to do that right now. Let's just, let's just check what's on the other side here. Maybe something here will help me solve that easier. <laughs> These cultists are. Pushovers. Oh shit. Go down already. Somehow, I don't think this guy is gonna go down. I don't think that this one is gonna go down. Maybe we have to do that puzzle first. But never mind, we got him. We got him, but we still got this gate blocking our way. Mm, hi. Yeah, no point to fight this. So if I, yes, the game saves every every time I enter that area. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so I would I would have to know that how these that how each of these uh, lever levers or switches uh, change the seating order. I would have to know that. I would have to know that, but... Okay, I got the picture... I have... I have kind of burnt this uh, image image to my mind now. So let's see how it changes if we... Use that. Uh... I guess it's I guess the seats just uh rotated around to face the opposite direction. I think I think. Let's see. 
Okay, the... Oh, crap! Ouch! Did we die? Oh, that's a that's pretty, and also arm in it at the same time. So did I get the puzzle? Uh, did I solve the puzzle correctly by accident? Well, this is pretty. This is very trippy. Now you are ready. Oh shit. Well, that was one hell of a trip. Oh, by the way, I just remembered that. I think I got some more... Did I got some new backgrounds? No. Was it effects? Oh yeah, we got some new effects. Green. And that's really it. Operation. Let's let's go with this. There's no way in hell I'm going back in there. Well, well, I, I suppose we can't go there in there anyway. The mannequins are blocking our way. Okay, so now we continue from where. Oh, crap! Is that a Shit, is that like... Was that, uh... Was this Martin? I don't remember anything further. Okay, so this is after we... After we had that little battle with Amy, slash the demon who possessed Amy. In the attic. Are we gonna get the gun again? Ah, the gun is not here. Nothing here. Or here. Oh, is that... Uh, Mr. Martin? I'm gonna assume that yes. Okay, do we go outside or... Well, let's check the basement real quick. Father all red. No. Crap. Uh, okay. Oh, we're on the other side here now. Okay, so I guess I did solve, solve that uh, puzzle earlier by accident. Thank God, because honestly, that puzzle looked like a big pain in the ass. What the hell happened here? Well, I see one of them is still alive, barely. Mm, can't help him out. Also, what is that white line on the wall? 
I guess it's nothing. Could be a visual bug too, for all I know. <laughs> Imagine having visual bugs in a game, game like this. Oh. Deliver two into Moloch's hands before opening his navel. Why would I want to open his navel? So we got... Uh, okay, so we have to bring two... Something. Deliver two into Moloch's hands. Oh, another save point by the looks of it. Let's... Well, actually, what am I thinking? Let's save first. And also... What do we have here? Filthy Acolyte. The substance of Gary's influence flows through your veins. You are corrupted beyond repair. Your family and friends have forsaken you. There is no returning from the path you have chosen. Only Gary can save you now. Give up and truly let him into your heart and mind. If you do so, he will make you into a vessel worthy of the unspeakable. Resist and your soul will be lost forever. Welcome to tier 3. Gary loves you. Okay, well... How long have I been playing? Mm, little over... Half an hour, I think. Okay, there was a painting there. Another painting here. Okay, so... Well... Guess it doesn't really matter that which way we go first. So, whatever, let's go here. Okay, we have a creepy picture of a... Uh, my wild guess is a nun. Okay, we got more ways to go. Well, let's go north. Oh, great. This is going to be a maze, isn't it? I don't mind uh, finding my way through mazes, but it's just that our priest is very slow. <laughs> we don't have any, uh, we don't have any sprint or run buttons to make him move a, move at least a little bit faster. Okay, what the hell is this thing? Well, whatever it is, we can't use our cross on it. Hmm, that's curious. <laughs> Okay, um... Not sure what we picked up. Clavis L. Clavis, that's... I think that's Latin, but I don't know what that means. Wait, didn't it mean... I think it means means key. I think some of the... Uh, oh. Go to Estis Fuimus Talia. What the... Um, okay. That's weird. But anyway, like I, like like I was about to say, some of the what the some of the literal key items that we have picked up were called clavises, I believe. So I believe that clavis means key. So now we can't leave. Well, that's just well. Quotsumus eritis two. Speak American. Mm -hmm. Just a coldest. Oh, shit! Jesus! What is that? It looks like a cobra head. Hit him. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, fuck. Jesus. So now we are fighting against a... I'm gonna have to get the... Key again. So, so now, we are, now we are fighting against a... Big... Pink... Cobra head... Demon. And then we have to walk... All the way here... 
three times because reasons. So the demon caught me the first time and I managed to flee, so at least that's possible. Not sure how I did that though. Missed me, bitch. Missed me again. Okay, he wasn't that difficult actually. He wasn't that difficult. Okay, anything about this statue? No. Alright, then what's over here? Oh, great. More options. Now oh, we got two cultists inside cages. Can't use my crucifix on them. Okay, another... Hmm? Well, that's a mirror. Oh, crap. My controls are inverted. Oh, fuck. So I have to hit those... Whatever pink spider webs appear on the mirror. There, they got some creepy shit in here. Like that. Oh fuck! It's just a, it's just that my controllers are mirrored now, so that. Makes it can makes it more confusing. Otherwise, touching that guy shouldn't be that difficult. Go away. All right, come here. <laughs> now this is this is quite uh, uh confusing. These controls. When I'm fighting against a mirror image. Oh, I ran right at him. I ran right at him like an idiot. So am I supposed to focus on him first or these pink spiderweb thing is, or... Okay, that went quite well. I'm not sure if I'm even hurting that thing. Move, goddammit! It's that... This pink shit. Oh. <laughs> well. Just have to try again. But I'm still not sure that... Oh, maybe he's have to appear fully on this mirror so I can actually damage him. Like this. Oh, shit! So at least I know that how we can damage him. This is still a problem, although... Oh yeah, it's, it's still a problem because it can slow me. Show me your ugly head. I'm not even hurting him. Just come to the damn mirror. Can I leave? 
Apparently, yes, I can leave. But will this boss fight start from the beginning, if we do this? Die, 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 die. <laughs> okay. So... He won't die that quickly. This might be one of the toughest boss fights in this game so far. Because even when you know what you're supposed to do here, it's still tough to beat him. I'm not even hurting him. Shit. Mortis. Yeah, I may have to try this quite a few times until I finally get him. Ah, oh, got him. Fucking got you, bitch. Alright, now let's pick up whatever this is. Clavis Naval. Now that must be for the... So, Clavis L and Clavis Naval. Are oh, those two the two things that we, that we need for that... Uh, the statue thingy? And also, what about you two? Hmm, I knew it. Well, you're not that... Oh, shit, there's two of them. Oh, fuck! Shit. Mortis. Oh, okay. Well, the question is now... Where do we continue from? Don't tell me that I'm, that I'm have to fight that... That one... That... The mirror demon. Oh, yes, of course I'm have to. Well... Fuck. I guess it's not that difficult once you figure out once how to how to do it. God damn it, you! Show up in the mirror. Show me your ugly muck. Like that. Take that, you bitch. Should I even waste my time fighting these noobs here? If only my range was as long as his. Oh fuck! Well, shit, now, now I have to deal with these a-holes too. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna leave. Fuck these guys. We just leave. Well, actually, uh, we didn't come from there. I'm. You know what I'm. You know. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back all the way, safe there. Then, then go back to those two, and just, uh, you know, banish the demons out of them. Because I don't. Because I don't want to leave any of those. I. I somehow figured that the picture would change by the time we get back. But anyway, I'm gonna get rid of those demons. But now we don't need to worry about that one, that mirror demon. We don't need to beat him the second uh, time, or, well, this is more like 
fourth, fifth time. What the? Oh. It's not following me here on... Yes, it is, but not from the exact same... Well, oh, god damn it. If only my range, if the range of this crucifix was longer. Die. Oh. Oh, great, we are in the mental asylum now. Well, shit, this chapter sure is one hell of a trip, isn't it? But you know what? I think I'm gonna end this episode here, actually. And in the next episode, well, let's just see what happens next, I suppose. So, until then. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more FAITH!